Greetings everyone, it's Wrestler, and welcome back to Austria. Now, if you remember last time we uh, closed out, we had figured out immigration and how it all goes. Um, just it turns out you need a house and you need a market stall that's selling food and everything is A-OK. -okay. So we placed a couple more houses down. Um, actually, quite a few houses. Most of them are paused right now, if not all of them. And um, the reason for that was we were just trying to get things ready to go and uh, load it up but we are ready to go now so um as you can tell here the was not activated um, actually just field so um the oil is exhausted so oh right that's right they're deleting this field demolish and then you finish gathering so i think we'll activate it so i think it needs to be activated so they can finish getting everything and we got the mill and uh, no one at the mill currently, sadly, um, working, but in time, um, let's see what the hiring options are. So the off season is coming up. I'm sorry, the on season is off, is it off season. No, it's not off season. Okay, so the on season one, off season nobody. And so we, we yeah, we worked out the seasonal roles here, and I think. And the off-season rolls around for other places, because I know the farm, I believe their season, off-season begins November, so I think we'll have jobs here. Um, we'll have someone working there when off-season rolls around. Um, I ordered here yet. Um, and so, and oh, well, Matt, so we have a, so this, missing, the missing crew is, there's a missing crew here right now, currently. And they are 21 more days visiting. This person is actually riding. Um, we have a messenger going to a different town now, too. And so, what I'm going to do um, as we're doing things here is I'm going to act, I'm going to unpause one of these houses. I'm just not sure which one to unpause right away. You know what? I'm going to go with this house. I'm going to unpause this house. So, we'll play that. We'll press play on that one. And so, then, yeah, so it's got all the workers. Um, suit up, start working there, and so, yeah, so, applying resources to the construction site, where's he going, okay, so, yeah, so, um, we'll get that built, and, um, and such, so, gosh, there are not cleared nearly enough nails, although uh, he's got 30 nails waiting, and how many nails do we need here, 42, we got 28 nails to 30. Okay, yeah, we got more than enough nails to um to build. Actually, we need 22 more nails. Actually, hopefully, uh, hopefully we have enough. I'm trying to do the math here. 42. Uh, um, you know what? I'm not going to even try. I was never strong in math, uh, so I'm just going to let it go now. So uh, what I'm trying to do right now. Currently, is I got this field for a buckwheat um, plot that to grow uh, because this field, the soil is exhausted, and the soil can't help. So we had we had we had potatoes, we had sunflower, and now we have buckwheat. As I had found, that sunflowers are not really all that useful necessarily in any way, shape, or form. So what I'm waiting for him to do with this field is to finish getting all the things out of it, so to speak, um, which I think they do at some point because I want to I need to demolish this field. Um and the problem is um that this field yeah it just needs to be demolished. Um and you can't get rid of this. So this field is active, and I want to demolish it, but he says we need to finish gathering harvest for it. So I'm going to see there's a little extra uh, that goes with it. And October is about to end, which means a lot of people are going to be released from certain jobs and apply to other jobs. For example, this, um, a, lot of, a lot of what the season allows you to do is to assign off-season workers to other things. So like, 
you, you say the you know you say the on season is here and this is how many people we have working and that coincides with the off season here when they have barely anybody working. So then someone shows up to work, you know, at a different location or at a different job. See this guy, you know, he, he'll have two people and this you know this place needs a person, you know. And this place the off season has only two people working in the off season. That is, it means two of those people don't have jobs and people work in other places. Um, which, which helps, which is helpful because um, if someone's working in one position, you know, then somebody else, you know, doesn't have to go there and they can work with a smith or something like that, so to speak. So anyway, so they get some nails, just check to make the nails. And yeah, so they're bringing nails. So, um, it's like a thousand wood, they're so putting three hundred which there are more than enough wood, clay, and fats. The nails is where we actually are suffering in terms of how many people are doing with nails. Um, they've taken, um, taken wheat to the forehead. So what is sold here is firewood and wheat. Um, and, and eventually, hopefully, flour for bread. Um, but that's seen that the mill is a worker. And I think the mill will get a work in November. We'll see. Um, the mill hires both men and women, and um, since the farm is primarily run by but run by women, the reality is rolls around, and all of a sudden, um, women aren't working at the at the farm anymore. As many women are working at the farm anymore during the off season. One of them will run the mill, hopefully, to get some fire in there. Um, as most, as all the men are, are occupied with other jobs, with smithing, carpentry, or building actually, for that matter. Um, you know, or forestry, even. So, anyways, we'll, we'll see if the mill gets to work in as October rolls around. And so, we got this house that we're building. And this house is, yeah, it's 10 nails at a time, really, here. Um, this guy is probably working as fast as he can, but he can only smith so many nails, you know? And he's, he's, gonna, he's running on charcoal soon, so he's got to go get more charcoal before long. So, yeah, it's October's about to end here. I'm, I'm fairly anxious to see what happens when October ends, because there are a couple places here that, in the starting November, start start uh, having more people work for them. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens when the Alphabetes of the Farm rolls around. And such. And then the next milestone will be around um, December. Uh, let's take a look at this. December, yeah, when the forestry takes a break for two months, and where those guys will go. And because um, you see here, these guys got quite a liberal off season, and the off season gets too difficult. So I think, I think in December, um, he'll probably have another forester, December to January, um, because that's. Because unfortunately, when it comes to smithing, you have to have, have um, that's the laborers. Let's see if we can. Anyway, so the laborers, which is not the smith, but actual laborers, ha, ha, um, can be men and women, but the smith himself, I think, has to be women. I mean, he has to be a man. So, um, so. Now, I don't know if there needs to be an open vacancy for that to actually happen. Uh, we'll find that out um, when that time comes. But I don't think we need necessarily an open vacancy to fill a particular job. I think um, in the off-season, vacancies don't matter. Um, but they might. I mean, you know, because the, the, the flip side is you get somebody to fill a vacancy, and then actually, you know, think about it, the honesty team says that we want to work there. Right? Yeah, so you can't oh. Well there you go. So it opens it for you. November vacant November rolled around and there's an open vacancy. So the window you think someone would take the take that job on actually. Um Okay. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, there you go, Ben. I guess that tells us everything.
As for now, you see two people working here. Um, goodness gracious me. Um, So as you can see, where there's workers that you can hire different workers, um, it will give you an option up there, I believe. Let me see what happens if I do it. Yeah, so if there are workers that can be different gender, it will give you an option. So the mill, I guess, in, well, the smithy I knew already in the map. So I'm just in the mill. <clears throat> it needs to be the same uh, thing. So we might not get as much as a, of a mill. Um, these as, as we want during the offseason, but, um, that's okay. So, whoa, hello. Okay, so we're at the second one, so let's see, they offer, they need wheat, shoes, buckwheat, charcoal, chicken eggs, sunflower oil, and clothes. Well, wheat we have, buckwheat we will have, charcoal we have as well. And they will offer all those things in return. So a horse, a cow, pig, iron, metal parts, leather, lime, salt, um, salo, dried fish, and potatoes. <coughs> Excuse me there, sorry. Um, gosh. You know, it, it's, you know, you look at this and you go, man, maybe like cows or something would be useful. Um, well, we got 29 more days to decide. So, so, but the question I, I have then is, um, do you get off through a cow shed? And if you do, will getting a cow be beneficial? Because see, charcoal, we have tons of charcoal. Um, or we're going to have tons of charcoal. Um, sadly, no one's bringing uh, things right now. Um, you, you'd hope that they would. Um, oh, there we go. So, um, that's why he's not getting any more charcoal. He's got all the charcoal. So charcoal would be a thing. Um, gosh. Is the carpenter repair it? if the carpenter ever repairs the car or goes to repair the car because it says they're working but working on what <laughs> that car's going to need repair very soon too Sorry if I sound a little bit flustered, I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out here. And try and figure out what exactly is. So, if you get enough charcoal, it seems like we would be able to get a um, thing here. So, they, they want like, cows, and they want charcoal. And we, now we have tons of wheat, if I'm not mistaken, if we can have, um, we have, we got in terms of wheat. Yeah, 801 wheat. And suck pile there. And they want 800 charcoal. So I think there's a quantity they want. We don't have that type of charcoal uh, sitting around, and they're waiting for charcoal. Um, so we're getting charcoal, um, just to be in, uh, in a certain way. We got um, people bringing charcoal. So. This house. So they need two nails. This guy is he's, oh he's got twenty nails already. Um, smithed up. So 
I think they used two more nails on top of that. And he's smithing nails, if I'm not mistaken. No, he's supplying resources. So where's he going? Going to get charcoal? Oh, there is 5,000 charcoal handy. So, good, we have a... One of these warehouses can pay off, so we have a stock of charcoal. Um, and it's just a matter of getting said charcoal. So he's going to just go grab some. Um, which is good. Which is good. It's good that we have a stock pile of that type of charcoal. Um, flying around. Uh, so doing a pretty bad, but still, yeah, things bring in stuff to sniff more nails. So, they're only short two nails, but it's not like they're really hurting necessarily in terms of research. You still make, still make more nails without difficulty. But they're not with the house, when someone goes to get the resources, uh, even before they get it, it says, um, all resources gathered, so to speak, or collected, so, um, and nails is just a huge thing that people need right away, so, that's a thing, um, now, I don't know if this guy's gonna be able to smith me, I've got to get the cart back to where it's hard, and the problem is, we're gonna be low on carts very soon, um, and we need more, but I don't know if I can get this person to, um, to do anything. Because, yeah, because they, cause they say nothing is ordered. I'm thinking, well, I know that's true, but we got this car that needs repair, and, um, well, there's a car there. And so I wonder if he's repairing the cart, and if it's just the same, nothing is ordered, because he didn't order anything, and if that cart is going to be fixed. And I have a feeling that it's going to be. I have a feeling that that cart is being repaired right now. Um, and it's your progress bar, but it may be very, very well be the case that the cart is, is, is being fixed, and yeah, the cart is fixed at full health, so Carpenter is doing the job, that's good. Okay, well, that takes a little bit of a, of a stress off, and I think he's resting, isn't he? Oh no, he's, oh he's going in, so he might, he, he might smith a couple more nails before he takes them out, <laughs> just a couple minutes short, so, oh they got charcoal, okay, well let's get, up to a thousand charcoal, one, two, three, and we can go get that, with that. We got firewood, we got uh, thatch, we got sunflower. How many more sunflowers do we have? We can, yeah, we could up the sunflowers to, to 300. Let's do that too. Just want to get things in here to um, to be traded. Um, it'll make life much easier. And I think they remove these, because there are a, couple, a few more things here, so I think they remove these slowly but surely. So, um, so they remove the poor next story because I don't want to see start working in their sunflower field. Although I could deactivate it, I suppose. Um, I don't want to necessarily work in a sunflower field and trying to grow something in dead soil. Um, so this this is going to be um, done. So I don't know if, if, it is, if he's going to. He didn't move in here, but it might have been because it was just for families. So this guy, this 23-year-old guy who's unmarried, I don't know if he'll move into this house, or if it'll be empty. I don't know if he has to get married to move into a house. I'm not sure, and the problem with that is the only marriage candidate that's even remotely close uh, is this 16-year-old girl, 14-year-old uh, girl, sorry, Marlena, who's playing. So 14, you're obviously still a child in this game. Which is good, because in Bandit at age 7, you start working. So, <laughs> um... Which, in Banished, it, I can kind of understand they saying it because the premise of the game in Banished is that you've been exiled um, and with only the clothes on your back and some resources. And so it's kind of, uh, you know, you're kind of at this point where it's like, well, it's like as much as I would like to, you know, just, you know, that you would like, like to have a childhood, we got Banished, we need all the hands we can get. Whereas Oscar, this is more of, I think we're starting a new city. This is, you know, we were supported, we're supported. 
or something, and people are just waiting for this town to grow, or maybe there's no premise whatsoever, maybe it's just like Silver City. Because some seasons have premises, like in Banish, you'll never receive a message from like a king or anybody like that, you know, or anybody saying, you know, like, how do you build a village, you know, something like this. Also, I haven't received anything yet. In Foundation, which is another city builder, I know the king at one point, I think, sends you something about, like, something about your village building, I think, and, like, your response, I think, is just, like, we're just doing a village, like, my lead, so, like, nothing more, you know, and I know Surviving Mars, the, the city building premise in that game is that you're, I mean, it's a, I mean, you're on a different planet, so you're trying to survive, uh, hence the name of the game, but you, you were beholden to, like, an entity or an organization, usually back home, that sent, that, well, you're not beholden, but they're there to support you, basically, and you have other factions that are on the planet that um, you're competing with to it, and I don't think armed conflict is a thing in that game. To be honest, I haven't played Surviving Mars sensibly enough yet to know. Um, I'm trying to get back to it, but uh, at the time, I I don't know. But so there are some cities like that have premises, or, or very loose ones. City Skyline is another great city builder out there that is premise is that you're building a city. You know, nothing more really. I um, mean, you know, you have things that you have to be aware of and things to do in the game, but um, there's nothing really, um, there's no really driving or, you know, really super crazy uh, force behind very much of what is going on in that game. So, uh, give me charcoal here. So it looks like they got the, um, all resources are collected. So, um, is this a smith? That is a smith. What's he doing? He's supplying resources. So, oh, he's going to get more charcoal. So he's smithing nails, you know, going right along, and it looks like someone got the nails. So they're gonna, they're gonna, um, do construction. Yeah, he's going to get the nails. Um, the remaining, uh, two nails that they need, that they need for this, so, uh, to, uh, finish building this. And the thatch, I think, is already there. Yeah, the thatch and the wood is already there, so, this won't take long. This is guy bringing two nails. I think he'll probably drop it off and someone will come along and finish the construction. Um, and then we'll have another empty house. And we'll see what happens. It will remain empty. And we'll wait for people to arrive. Or it will be given to the 23 year old man who has no wife yet. So, which is maybe why he came here. Although, I mean, it's like, dude, it's like, thanks for coming, but I hate to break this kid, but all the women here are your age. Um, like it's, 22 year old and it's is that 27, 24, uh, 21, um, 26, and 23. I hate to break it to you, they're all married though. Um, so you might you might be you might be waiting a while for uh, Mariana um, or Mariana to get old enough. Which, I'm guessing it's probably 16 or 18, I'm not sure uh, how the game looks at it, so. Um, at least he's working, though. I'm glad that he has his job. Um, his father, I think, is his brother, is exactly his boss. Yeah, which for his dad. Makes sense. Um, and why not, you know. Uh, as long as he has his job, though, I'm okay. So, and it seems like they're doing their job at the post. It seems like they've got the resources. So, um, and they're just doing what they need to do now, so. Anyway, so yeah, you know, there's the thatch. This house is about to be finished. And we will have a new house here. And boom, done. So the village house is done. So, oh, okay, well there you go then. So there's housing available, there's no food sale. Water supply is sufficient, etc., etc., etc. Um, and so, yeah. So, so anyway, so he doesn't move apparently. So I'm guessing you have to be married to have a house here, uh, which is a very interesting requirement. Um, at the same time, uh, understandable. So, but you don't need to do, to do nothing. Um, well, actually, that doesn't make any sense. I guess it's just a matter of like. We don't want one person living in a house by themselves because that would be a waste of time. Uh, you'd rather have more than one person living in a house, so... Um, you know, because that's just a waste of space. Um, 
you know, you'd rather have a, a, a building a house that have family. Like, my, some people might say, well, this guy's 36, well, his wife is 22 years old, and 33, yeah, you are, and you're in, you know, most of the people here who are in their upper years, you know, actually, this is, yeah, like, she's 36, and she's got two kids, you know, thir you know, and, you know, so, the only person who is, you know, 35, you know, with two kids, one person who hasn't had kids yet in their 30s, at least, that is, my new uh, woman wife is this woman, Marie, Marie, Marietta. Um, back to the kid, 19, holy smokes. Um, so Marietta, you know, hasn't had a kid yet. You hope that they do eventually. But, you know, almost everyone who lives in the house, well, no, not almost everyone, everyone who lives in the house is married, and almost all of them have had children, children already. So, not all of them, but, um, but at least two families are the exception, but all the other ones have children. You know, even this one has got that older son. So, it's, so, and I can understand how it kind of it works, you know, it's like, you know what, we need you to live in a house, you know, that you need, well, we need to be married, we need you to be, you know, at least have the potential of having children. Um, and at uh, 22, um, you're a potential wife, 33, you know, you're getting up there to the time where, I think it'll make you harder. At 19, you're already, you've already gotten started. You're the youngest, you know. And that's why I'm thinking 16 is the thing here because this child is 2 years old and she's 19, which means 2 to 17 when she gave birth. So I'm thinking 16 is when they let things happen here, which would make sense. That used to be a thing. Uh, still is a thing at times. So, uh, in, in certain places and countries. And even some, some, there are some groups and families around you know, even in America and other places that arrange things, you know, early on. So, um, so, but she's 14, so, you know, we'll, we'll recross it when it comes to it. It might have been, it might be that, you know, you know, it might be a decision was made, or it might be something that, you know, um, you know, who knows, uh, let's take a look at the population. Uh, it just looks like we can do anything that was here. Um, You know, about either. Yeah, I mean Yeah. I'm just looking at this right here and it doesn't really look like um you know, you can do anything about it really. Um so Yeah. So not look doesn't look like you can do much. Um, I do like the fact that you, that you don't have to see a message or anything. Uh, when you see smoke come from the chimney, you know if someone's taking the house. So, um, I was trying to see someone was in this house. I know someone saw smoke coming out of the chimney. And I was like, well, who's living there? And then it had the little, um, really long lines over there. Although there isn't always smoke coming out of the chimney. But, um, well, there is now. But, you, but I, did, I did notice that, like, the see this chimney. There's no smoke, you know, and this one, and this one, the right here, no smoke, no smoke here, yeah, so, yeah, but the smoke is pretty apparent in most of them, and seeing as we're getting, yeah, see smoke is appearing now, seeing as we're getting on to November, I think the smoke is going to become very apparent here, because, well, you know, uh, it's, it's getting cold, and so, um, yeah, so as we're, more than halfway through November now. And I think with these two guys taking two months off, I think one of them is going to just take a middle job and the other one's probably going to be working through it. And, which is a good thing. We need that type of thing happening. Um, so, gosh, how much wood are you bringing? Um, I, I think it's like 10,000 wood before you start burning. So, um, hopefully, you know, we get somebody to come. Yeah, it'd be nice to have, like, another, ma another married couple join. Just perhaps maybe a daughter to go to that house, or at least a child of sorts, you know. Because the two families we've had join, one has a 23-year-old grown, grown child, and the other one has that 2-year-old, with a 19-year-old wife and 26-year-old uh, husband. So, um, so, you know, I'm hoping, you know, another family joins, you know. Uh, it'd be nice to have that. Oh, so we got, oh my goodness, Greg. So we got, we got a big family coming. So we got the 65-year-old grandma coming, 
and her son, 41 year old Vassile, and his 35 year old wife, Zoriana, and their two children, Myron and Porcina, not in that order, I think Myron's a boy. And they're, so on their, they're on their way here. So, um, so we have another guy coming, another woman coming, and a grandmother, I believe, right? Yeah, and so she's old. Um, and I don't know what the age would be of people working. See, this guy right here, he's 56 and he's still working. So I don't know if that grandma is gonna actually be working. Uh, she might, she might not. Um, I'm not sure what her job is going to be, if, if a job. Maybe she can post after the kids, I don't know. But this is the, uh, Tel... 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 I'm probably butchering that. Uh, uh, Tel... Tel... family. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Uh, Vasily, Soriana, Forciana, and Myron. Oh, so the daughter kind of has a name like her mom. Just within... Just, uh, the, the same engine. Or not. No. <laughs> Never mind. I was just kidding, apparently. Yeah, these are... Yeah, I mean, the guy, he made this, um, his name is, I think, Yemvi, or Yemavin, I don't know. I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name. He's from the Ukraine, though. And, um, he says it on his page. And this, again, is just a labor of love for him. Just a one-person project, you guess, another people now. But I'm really... But I've been with this guy, um, in terms of backing his project since before, since it was just him, doing it in his spare time. Um, and so I backed the project early on, uh, this Oscar game. I think I mentioned this before. And, um, I've just been, I, you know, we got, when it came up to Steam, I was really happy. And I've just been enjoying watching it grow, um, you know, uh, with, as a back when we got a Steam key from the guy. Um, but beforehand, it's just downloading the files from them, basically, um, directly. Um, you get a link, you got a link for, you, for the project, you got a link to his page. And just download the files and just playing them, you know. And, uh, going, going, you know, going along. And I think part of the reason he did that way, because he could easily give your friends, which I did not do. Um, but I think he was like, you know, if you give me your friends, that's fine, they can play a version of the game that I have, you know, available at this time. But eventually it's gonna hit C. And, and, uh, and, and it hit, it hit, uh, go, go Games and Steam. And I'm not, I don't think, you know, you can do direct download anymore. I think the reason he did that way, where you could actually give to your friends, is because if your friends liked it, then they would buy it on Steam. Um, now, luckily I never gave to you my friends, and my friends were asking me, and if they had, I thought they told me. Well, actually, I did tell one of them, he didn't ask me, but he said, I didn't think he was good. I said, well, you have to support the guy. Um, I don't know if he did. Uh, he didn't say anything to me, but um, but I was more than happy to, to to support the project. You know, I'm 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 one of those people who might be too naive for their own good. I think sometimes I support projects, labor a little bit just a little bit too readily. I have been burned uh, before twice uh, supporting early access projects or labor to love that were abandoned by the maker, and so therefore um, I've kind of gotten told. And you know, and you know, and, you know, kind of money taken away. But at the same time, I just you know, it didn't scare me away from doing other projects. And you know, and there there's a point in some projects where you can kind of tell that you don't have to be worried. And I think Oscar was one of those. You know, I looked at how beautiful it was, and I thought, you know, with all the work this guy's doing, you know, it's going to you know, it's going to matter. You know, it's going to be good. And so that was part of it. So let's see what they're doing here. So we got another guy to Smithy, and his wife is a laser. So we got people working. Oh, so we got the other Smithy guy. Um, someone wants to know. Well, we got the other Smithy guy working. So, and we're about to hit the assembly. And I like that we have another guy who's looking at the Smith. Because um, now we can really get, you know, we can really get things going. Um, so this is burning fire with the charcoal, which is great. And this one has, is that his wife actually? Yeah, so his wife is already hard at work. So, um, that's a thing, and we got, how many nails do you have stored here? 28? Yeah, 28 nails. So, I think what I'm going to do now is because of that delay that was there, I think when I come to build something now, 
from now on. I've done this with most of the buildings. I just made a mistake here. I think I'm going to wait until I have all the resources available. I, got, I know i got the wood and everything and ready to go and the clay. And, but the nails is where we're, we're falling behind. So, I think I'm going to wait until I have all the nails. And considering how many nails I'm doing, I think it's time to put the cow shed. Or at least place one. Um, and cow shed takes so many nails. Yeah. So the question is, where do you put the cow shed, though? Because it doesn't look like it has really any field. You just have to kind of have it places, you know? Um, hmm. Oh, okay. Where do you put it kind of... It makes sense to kind of put it over here, wouldn't it? Because this is like near water and things like that. You know what? I'm going to put it over here. I can't. Okay, how about over here? Yeah, I'd love to put it right here, actually. You know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put it right here, in the middle of this, because I think you might need to make a pasture. And if I could put a pasture like right around here, that'd be great. So I need them to clear this field. They cleared this field and this field. Um, I need them to clear this field though next and I think we'll get to it. Um, it's just a matter of waiting time. So um, we'll get to December here and then we'll then I might call it that. I might power forward um, to the end of winter and then cast from there because winter can be a long process in this. I just want to see if someone takes over the new job actually to be honest. I want you guys to also to you know to join me on that, it, you know, does someone take over it, uh, question as well, and uh, what was going on there, well, whatever it was, it was not important, so, I think when we settled, you know, about a year ago, we're coming up on two years here, and what is this, not enough workers to chop trees, well, there's not supposed to be, um, so, Well, you know what? If there's not enough workers in the off season, let's have nobody work there. Um, so, yeah. So now we got we got a lot of people. Um, so it's starting to snow as the summer rolls around. So I'm wondering where these guys are going. Because um, you think one of them would come work there. Um, and on season is right now, so huh. Interesting. Well <laughs> Well there you go. They got laborers working, so it's always good. Um you know. Hopefully someone does take over that job right there, um, during this season. Uh, anyways, it's snowing quite a bit. So, oh, there you go. Somebody's taking the job of being the miller, uh, temporarily at least. Okay, anyways, um, I'm going to call it, uh, again, if it's a shorter broadcast than usual, but I'm going to call it here. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a like and subscribe. Um, and, anyways, until next time, this is Russell, logging off.